folders are a big portion of many email clients. Now, Gmail doesn't have folders per se, but it does have a very similar feature titled labels. Now, in this video, I want to show you how we can actually create labels and how we can move our email items into those new labels. So from our inbox, if you look on the left here, you'll notice I already have some labels created. I have one for my HR team here, which has a red label, one for my IT, IT team, which has a blue colored label, one for Microsoft Info, which has a purple label, and one for my Sales Team Info, which has a green label. So let's say I wanted to create another label from some of these in here. Now, I notice already I have quite a few emails from Slack, since Aramar is now on Slack, but maybe I don't want them to clog up my inbox, and I'd rather just put those in their own separate folder titled Slack. Now, what I can do here, I can actually create a new label in a couple of ways. What I could do is I could click on one of these, so I can highlight this email. I could go up here to this label icon, click here, and then type in a label and create a new label this way. I could go to Manage Labels, which actually takes me into my backend settings, where I can then show or hide all of the labels in my system, categories, as well as my user-created labels down here at the bottom. So all I have to do here is click on Create New Label here, and I can do the same thing. Now, third, you have an option in the left-hand side here if you click on this More arrow. If you scroll all the way down, you can access Manage Labels right here as well as Create a New Label. So what I'm going to do is click on Create a New Label, and now all I have to do is enter a new label name. So for this, we're going to put Slack. Now, if you wanted to create a folder hierarchy, you could nest this label under another label. So if I wanted to put Slack under Microsoft Info, I could do that but I'm actually just going to leave this as a sort of top level uh, label. So created Slack here, and now you'll notice that Slack has been added in alphabetical order at the bottom of this list, so below sales team. Now the default color for a label is this dark gray, but if you're like me and you'd like to have things color coded, all you have to do is click on the three dots over here, which is the more icon, and then go up where it says label color. Now from here, you can choose any one of these preset colors, or you could actually add a custom color as well. So let's just click on that, and you'll see you have quite a few options when it comes to creating a color for your label. So I'm actually going to go out of here, go back over, and I'm just going to select a label from this preset list. Now let's see, I'm not using the yellow color, so why don't I go ahead with that? And you'll see immediately that has now changed to yellow. Now, that's all well and good. I've created this new label for Slack, but there are no conversations or emails within this label. So in order to actually move those, there are a couple things I could do here. I could click and drag this email and drop it into a label here, as you can see. Or I could select one or more emails. So maybe I'll select a couple here, maybe three. Go up here and click on Move To. And I can go down and find Slack here. Now, something to note, if you click Move To, you're moving these emails into the Slack label, which means that you're moving them essentially into a folder. If I were to, on the other hand, click on the Labels button up here and just go and give these the label of Slack by selecting this and clicking Apply, you'll see now that while they'll stay in my inbox, there'll be a little yellow label here that says Slack, which notifies me that these are actually belonging to the Slack label. Now, I personally like to move things into those folders so that it doesn't clog up my inbox. But if you want another way to just organize all of your materials but keep them in one place, you could just add a label without moving the items. So if I click again on Move and go down to Slack, you'll see all three of those are now placed in Slack immediately. Now, something else you can do here, we could right-click after clicking on these. We could go down to Move To in here or Label As. And we could do the same thing as if we went to the top of the menu there. So I'll just move these two final ones into Slack. And as you can see, now we have all those emails in my new Slack label. And my actual inbox is a lot less messy.